The biggest lie that people tell you is that they're not scared. And this literally drove me to a point where I thought I was just this little bitch compared to everyone else. So it all started with girls. My friends and I would be out and we'd see a beautiful girl. And I was scared just thinking about going up and talking to her, but no one else would ever even remotely hint at being slightly uncomfortable. Now, the weird and somewhat suspicious thing was that they never actually walked up to her, but there was always some rationalization. I mean, they would go up and talk to her, of course that's not a problem, but she's not really pretty enough, or she's not really their type, or they just don't feel like it right now. And I seriously thought something was wrong with me, like no one else is scared but me. And of course, looking back at it, they were all just as scared as I was, but it really did mess with my head for a very long time. Then it was the same thing when I went through basic training and jumped out of planes. Basic training was over, and I would ask people about it, and they would say, Oh, that was so easy. But by this time, I was starting to sense all the bullshit around the topic of fear. It was interesting that this person would tell me that he was never scared, that it was so easy, because I remembered his little face full of tears from just a few weeks ago. And it was the same thing with jumping out of planes. As soon as we got our jump wings, apparently no one had been scared but me. And again, very interesting, because I remember going up in the Twin Otter for our first jump and how everyone was shaking with fear the whole way up there. Same thing with making a video and sharing yourself with the whole world. That's easy stuff, right? You'd never be scared of that, right? I mean, your videos are going to be so awesome, everyone's going to love them. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought until I made my first video and it was time to publish it. You thought you were energetic, but the end result is that you're slow and awkward. You thought you looked really cool, but all you see now are the pimples on your head. You thought the video was perfect, but now you see how much it actually sucks. And you're about to press that publish button, and once you do that, get ready to be judged by the entire world, including all your family and friends, on how awkward and stupid you look and how much your video sucks. Now look, you can sit there and pretend that you're not scared. You can even lie to people about it, and yes, they will start to worship you because you have something that they know they don't have. But let's face the reality. We're all scared. We're all scared, and that's normal. The book talks about Henry Fonda, one of the greatest actors who would throw up before every stage performance, even at 75 years old. It's really the amateur's mindset to first try to fully overcome fear and then start. And of course, you won't be able to do that, so you'll never start. The professional's mindset goes something like this. Cool, I'm afraid. Now what needs to be done? So there's nothing wrong with being scared. But what is wrong with it is when that fear keeps you from doing the things that would make your life a hundred times better. And that's what Pressfield calls resistance. The more resistance you experience with something you want to do, the more sure you can be that it's the best thing for your growth and development. The more scared you are of something you want to do, the more you need to do it to honor your true self. And all of my examples I mentioned were some of the biggest fears I have had in my life. And I have pursued them all. I knew I wanted to be able to go up to a girl and talk to her, but I was scared. So guess what? I did exactly that. I knew I wanted to train and jump out of planes, and guess what? I was scared, but I did exactly that. I knew I wanted to share my videos with the world, but I was scared. I was really scared. But that is exactly why I pursued it. Now, if I look at my life, and from what I have grown the most, from what I have had the most fun, with what I have honored my true self the most, it's exactly these things. So let me ask you this, what are the things that you want to do and are scared of? Maybe you don't like to admit it, but deep down you know what it is. What is it? Is it being able to walk up to a girl and have a normal conversation? Is it starting a business? Is it sharing your talent with the world? What is it? Figure out what it is and pursue it. 
and I will guarantee you, you will see more growth and fulfillment from that journey than anything else you could do in life.